Okay, so this video is a bit about conscious energy management. Um, for example, I just came to my mind a minute ago sitting on, sitting on my bench eating some mangoes that how sometimes people say, for example, in relationships they cause trouble for themselves, they cause their own trouble they, and then they blame it on the other person. But what really happened is they were uncareful with their energy and then with their words and actions. And then they have an argument and then they blame it on the other person. So usually we tend to think we're innocent and the other person is wrong. Instead of growing up, taking responsibility and accountability and like basically almost like blaming yourself. Not exactly blaming or criticizing yourself, but just like looking at your own mistakes and owning up to them and making amends and fixing the mistakes. Realizing and understanding the mistakes is the hardest part, to be honest, and that's what this video is about. To help you to become aware of your own mistakes or at least your energy mis mismanagement. For example, um, I was thinking a few minutes ago, a moment ago actually, that sometimes we, we, we are like, um, let's say for example a religious person, they might vigorously defend their family member, but then they neglect to like really sort of defend or be very loving and kind and caring for the person who might be like slightly uh, having a little bit of an argument with a family member. And to be honest, if you're properly supposed to be religi living the religious principle, you should love your neighbor as thyself. Um, you should, you're supposed to care equally for everybody, more or less, something like that anyway, close enough, okay? And obviously you're not gonna be equally, truly equal as your family member, but you're supposed to be open to listening to both sides of the arguments and care and trying to help everybody, anybody in particular, when you're able. And um, within balance and having the energy and all that stuff. So what somebody who's not being careful with their energy might say is, and you say you're religious and look at you, you're just two-faced or they might even say two-faced, and you think you're all religious and you don't even, you, you just act in this way, you don't care, you don't give a shit about me or like, um, and you say you're religious, like, like, and you say you're religious. Um, but really, if you actually investigate the energy of that person saying that, you realize they're not being loving, understanding, compassionate, and caring, and patient and with that person, with the religious person, okay? So that might set off or trigger the religious person. It's a criticism, it's a put down, basically speaking. It's a judgment, it's a condemnation. It's a, it's a saying you're not good enough to the other person. So. Where if you are being careful with your energy, what you will say is, so the religious person's like taking sides, like it doesn't have to be a religious person, of course, it could be like anyone under any situation. So anyway, we'll, we'll so I'll drop that religious example, but what the other part, what the conscious person might say is, hey listen, I realize you care about your family member a lot. Um, it'd be really nice if you like cared for me too, and you're open to listening to both sides Something like that anyway, I'm not going to tell you exactly what to say, but something along a fair-minded, tolerant, patient, caring attitude to the person who might be judging you. But if you're going to go with a big attitude of like, and you say, you're just like a hip, acting like they're a hypocrite and talking in a way that's like condemning them, obviously you're going to like get into fights with your partner or anybody. Like your mom, your, your friends, your ex, your mother, your daughter, your son. So anyway, this video is basically about being aware of your energy and not to be lashing out on other people. So before you speak, think twice and investigate your energy. Investigate your energy. Be as polite as possible. Some people think it's like freedom to just express yourself, and in a sense it is, but it's reckless, unconscious freedom. It's the freedom to cause arguments and to get into fights and quarrels, even violence. So I made a video that I'll put it in around here somewhere. Is um, Um, it's called something like when to when to express your emotions and when not to express your emotions. I thought it was a really good video. I loved it, personally speaking. I'd highly recommend it. So, at the end of the day, we um, we want to, in my opinion, I want to be as positive energy, pure hearted and, and clear minded as possible. I want to be conscious and careful and caring of how I express myself, how I share my energy, how my energy is. <laughs> because how my energy is, is how others will feel it. 
but at least if I'm feeling off or upset or angry, at least I can at least not express it and give out and complain and lash out and criticize and put down and upset other people. So try sink into your heart and be compassionate and understanding and listen. If you want to be listened to, give listening to another person, listen to them. If you want someone to be fair with you, be fair with them first. So. I guess, I hope this video helps you to be more careful of your energy so you won't be causing chaos and energetic disturbance in the world, which we all share, in my life too actually even. But also, especially really, to be honest, it's really I'm making this video for you and your close, close people in your life, the people in your life, so you can all have a better relationship together. And secondly, so as a global community, because we're all connected, we can work together to improve the state of the planet and the energy of the planet for all of us together, me included of course, as a result, because we're all linked. So, in my life, I used to lash out and react much more, and then I learned this lesson and I'm getting good at it now, to be honest. I, have, I don't really argue, get in arguments or fights really almost anymore, it's been a while. But I'm still learning, always be a student. I'm still a humble beginner and I know I can be wrong at any moment. So have that like humble heart and mind and attitude, the beginner's mind. Don't play small. Don't be afraid to be big that you are, but don't be acting like you're over big or extra special on top or better than other people either. So don't play too, don't play bigger than you, don't, don't be afraid to play big, because you are big, you're an amazing human, divine being, of course. But don't be afraid to play small. Don't be arrogant, be humble, but not fake humility, which is ridiculous. That's like playing small, don't play small. Um, and just uh, love and respect everyone else too. So play other, make others feel or play big. Let them play big too, and respect and compliment other people. Anyway guys, I had the inspiration here to make the video by the roadside, sorry for all the noise, I hope you've taken something from this video. I've meant it from my heart to help help you and help your friends and loved ones and family. And um, if anyone would like one-to-one -one co coaching with me, of relationship coaching or health coaching or life coaching, or would like to support me and your help buy a present of your, for yourself, self-love present for you, your loved ones or family, check in my herb shop below where I sell herbs superfoods, enzymes, and also essential oils. Such really, really beautiful, good quality stuff. I try to be as conscious and careful in where I spend and put my money also. So know if you invest in me, I try to invest carefully into people and companies that are ethical and careful and caring and careful, kind too. So I thank you for all your love and support and I wish you a magnificent day. At least a better day than last week. See you everybody. Take care. Lots of love.